Hey guys, welcome to another episode about R programming. Today we are going to talk about how R actually treats variables in regards of memory addresses. And for this episode we are going to need few functions from library lob str. So if you don't have this library installed, please do so. And now I'm going to create one variable, let's call it a, and we are going to store value of 10 in it. So if you have experience with some other programming languages like uh, C or Java, for example, uh, you know that 10 is integer and integer usually holds four bytes. Uh, but if we use a function from this library, obg size for object size, if I provide name uh, of this variable to this function, if I run this code now, you are going to see uh, that uh, this variable holds 56 bytes. And if you say that this number is terrible, well, from one perspective, you are correct. But keep in mind that R is high level programming language and it's very abstract. And there is a lot of things that R is actually doing for you that you cannot see. And this kind of memory usage, it's definitely trade off. And if you want to see all of memory that is used by this session, we are going to use function mem used. If I run this code, I'm going to get this result, 25.5 megabytes. And of course, this size is uh, huge in comparison to what we actually have in our code. And finally, from this library, I'm going to show you one more uh, function, obgaddr for object address and I'm going to provide our variable as argument. So with this function, we are going to print a memory address of our variable. So if this is clear, now I'm going to explain how to use passing by value and passing by reference. I'm going to delete this part and I'm going to create one function, call it fun like this function where we are going to provide one number and we are going to uh, print out memory address with object ADDR and we are going to print address of uh, this variable we have provided to. So now if I call this function and I'm going to provide a variable A run this code and this is what is called passing by reference because what we are passing in here it's actually memory address for variable a and now where is the difference in between r and c for example if we do something like this in c later on when we make some changes uh, to this variable those changes are going to be mirrored to our original variable but not in r in r if i add some value or if I edit this variable in any way, I'm going to add one to it. This entire memory address is going to be changed. So now I'm going to print object address of A and I'm going to print object address of X in here. you are going to see that uh, these two addresses are not the same. So the moment when we have changed the value, we actually change the address too. But that is not what is happening only with functions. If we delete this function, and if I change value of A in here, I'm still going to get two different addresses. Ah yes, sorry. You see, we have two completely different addresses. So what are it's actually doing? Whenever you change content, you are changing the memory address of that variable too. But that's not the only thing. Uh, if you create another variable, let's say B, and if you assign A to it, what is going to happen? Those two variables are going to hold exact the same address, as you see. And if you want to avoid that behavior, what you can do, you could pass copy. In this way, you are going to provide collection where only one element is going to be this variable A. Now, if we check this, you see, we are going to get two completely different addresses. Because in case when we assign A to B, we are going to pass by reference. And when we assign copy of A to B, we are passing by value. So guys, I truly hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.